What's going on everybody? Tanner Weidman of Barbarian Body. Today we've got an at home dumbbell only total body workout routine. We're gonna be hitting the upper body, we're gonna be hitting the lower body, and we're gonna be hitting that core. For reference, I'm personally gonna be using a pair of 25 pound dumbbells. Now we got 11 intense exercises that we're gonna go through here for a designated number of repetitions. That will make up the first round. If you guys wanna push yourselves, I challenge you to repeat the workout two total times. If you really wanna push it, I challenge you to nail it three total times and as always be sure to let me know down in the comment section how far you were able to get let's get straight into this one all right we're gonna kick this thing off by hitting the chest here we're gonna be getting into some dumbbell push-ups to rows so feet nice and wide coming down on the way up right arm row left arm row we got 10 total repetitions ready and go making sure that you keep control there try and prevent the torso from rotating and dipping as you're bringing that dumbbell up by contracting the core. Four. Good. Five, halfway. Six. Breathe in. Three more. Next, we're gonna be getting into some dumbbell half flies here, hitting the deck on her back. One more. And good. Perfect. Dumbbells to the side right here, getting into position. Now, we're gonna be getting the half flies because this is what's going to allow us to keep tension on the chest the entire time. So the dumbbells never touch at the top, stop about half of the way. And we got a total 10 reps. Ready? And go. Elbows gently touch the ground. Back up, focus on contracting the chest, not just lifting the weight. Four, five, keep a good tempo. Keep that muscle under tension as much as possible. Keep squeezing, think chest, not dumbbell lifting up. Two more, last one, and good. Toss on one dumbbell down. Bringing the one dumbbell over our head, we're gonna be getting into some overhead dumbbell crunches. So, shoulder blades off of the ground and back down. We got a total 15 repetitions. Ready? And go. Now, to make it a little bit more challenging, we're gonna add in a half of a second of an isometric hold while those shoulder blades are off of the ground. 10. Always breathing, always breathing. Five, four, three, two, one more, and good. Coming on up. Next, we're gonna be getting into some dumbbell cleaning presses. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean the weight up, press overhead, and back down. And we got a total of eight repetitions. Ready? And go. Try and prevent as much of that torso swinging as possible. Keep this heavily focused on the shoulders, less on the lower back. Four, halfway. Five. Six, two more. One more. Explosive as you're pressing up. And boom, good. Now we're gonna be getting into some dumbbell reverse flies. So you're gonna be coming down nice and low, get close to parallel to the ground. And what we're gonna do is retract the scapula as we bring the dumbbells up. And we got a total of eight repetitions. Ready? And go. Try and prevent as much of that torso swing as possible. A little is okay, but you don't want to overemphasize that. Four, three, two, one more. And good. Next, we're going to be getting into some dumbbell front squats to hit that lower body. So, what we're gonna do is keep the dumbbells positioned in front of you. And when you're coming down, feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out, hold for one second, and then right back up. We've got a total of 12 repetitions. Ready, and go. Hold for a second, right back up. Coming down nice and low. Breathing, breathing. Eight, seven, six, halfway. Five, 
four. Next, we're going to be getting into stiff legged deadlifts. Three, two, hold for a second at the bottom. One more. And good. Whew. Okay, bringing your legs a little bit closer. Dumbbells right in front of you. Keeping those legs nice and straight, butt out, lower back straight. Get just below the knees and right back up. Again, we've got a total of 12 repetitions. Ready? And go. 11. 10. Keep those legs nice and straight. Lower back straight, butt out. This is going to help to hit the hamstrings as well as those glutes. Good. 6. Come down in a slow and controlled manner. 5. 4. 3. 2. One more. Next one's tough. We got jump squats. And good. Toss those dumbbells down right in front of you. What we're going to be getting is six jump squats. So, coming down nice and low and explosively up. Try and jump as high as you possibly can. Feet shoulder width apart. Ready? And go. Five. Four. Three. Land on those toes. Reduce the impact. Two. One more. And good. Perfect. Okay. Finishing exercises right here. We got some overhead extensions to hit the triceps. So grab both dumbbells. Now if you don't have the hexagonal ones, you can just use a single dumbbell. You can actually try two if you don't even have the hexagonal to do dual at the same time. So what we're doing here is we're coming down nice and low, keep your upper arms stationary, hinge at the elbows, and contract the triceps. We got a total of eight repetitions. Ready? And go. Nice and low, good tempo. Control the weight. Squeeze the triceps, don't just lift the weight. Six more. Five. Four. Nice and low, nice and low. Three, as you can see from the side right here. Two. Check that depth though. One more. And good. All right. Now we're going to be getting into some inner bicep curls. So, as counterintuitive as this sounds, you're going to be bringing those dumbbells out nice and wide, elbows towards the torso, and that's going to help you to hit the inner and shorter head of your biceps. Again, we've got a total of eight repetitions. Ready? And go. Good. Squeeze those steps at the top. Six. Utilize the eccentric, or when you're lowering the weight down there, keep the time under tension there. Nice and high. Don't just drop those weights. Four, halfway. Three. Two. One more. And good. Down. Final exercise here. Shake up the hands a little bit. Sometimes they cramp. We're going to be getting into some shrug holds. So, bringing those shoulders up nice and high. Hold for a second. And we got a total of 15. Ready? And go. This is going to help us hit those traps. Now the biggest problem with people when they train their traps, I can't achieve any growth. I can't achieve any growth. Most likely is because they're not incorporating time under tension. They're getting reps like this. So keep each repetition in about two to three seconds and you'll help to really stimulate some growth. Ideally more weight would be better, but we're doing our best with these dumbbells. Seven more. Six. Keep breathing. Five, four, squeeze those traps every time you come up. Shoulders as high as possible. Two more, one more, and good. There you guys go. That concludes the first round of this dumbbell only at home total body workout routine. As I mentioned, if you guys want to push yourselves, I challenge you to repeat the workout two total times. If you really want to push it, I challenge you to nail it three total times. And as always, be sure to let me know down in the comment section how far you were able to get. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash that like button down below and also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can get the notification when I post a new video for weekly workout tips 
and nutrition tips so you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're interested in checking out the exact supplements that I personally use, then be sure to hit this link in the upper right-hand corner. If you can't see it right there, just hit the little I and you'll be able to see the link or head on over down to the link that we'll have in the description. Head on over to EHP Labs, check out their protein powders they have, the vegan protein powders they have, the pre-workouts, the oxy shreds, the BCAAs, the creatines, the vitamins, they got tons of good stuff. And again, these are personally the supplements that I use. And if you use code BARBARIAN at checkout, you're gonna get a special discount as well. So again, be sure to hit the link that's in the description or the upper right hand corner. Check out EHP supplements. And thank you guys again for supporting the channel and watching today's video.